IRS depreciation deduction calculation system, the modified accelerated cost recovery system. Um, it is explained in this document that IRS produces. You can directly download it from the IRS website. I have also posted links to the openeducator.com where you can download these videos, download these documents. Now the video, well, you can download the video too from there. Um, so it, it is over 100 page of documents. However, it's not that complicated. There are five steps to correctly calculate depreciation. Step number one is you have to know how much did you spend for a piece of equipment that is going to depreciate over the years. Let's say you're going to buy a vehicle or car and then use it for taxis or renting purpose. Um, and they say you use $30,000 total for that. And then the second is the when it was placed in service, which is very important. If you started using it from last year, you can claim it on last year tax return. And its depreciation can start from last year. And then third is the property class. Not that every property depreciate the same. Vehicle usually depreciate in five years. However, um, things like sewage system can depreciate over 20 years. Um, so there is a table you can use um, in this IRS documents. So it's in Appendix B. Um, so um, here is this Appendix B. Um, you can see um, there are actually two tables, Appendix A, B1 and B2, where you can get the uh, depreciation. So automobile taxes, you can see that depreciate in five years. So it has a ZDS life, the general depreciation system life of five years so it's going to depreciate in five years so once you know um, what is the um, property class okay say three-year life property class automobile it has a recovery period of five years then you're going to decide what type of depreciation system you're going to use so there are two different kinds of depreciation system one is the general depreciation system which is the declining balance depreciation system we have already explained that in the earlier video so this one is basically the declining balance um, switch over to the state line system declining balance switch to uh, state line method and then there is the uh, alternative depreciation method um, which is um, the simply the state line method so you can choose between these two so once you know the property class next is you can choose any of these irs doesn't care which one do you use the declining balance as you know if you have already watched that video we have posted it, it has a faster recovery whereas the state line method has a slower recovery so whatever gives you the most benefit use that so it doesn't matter which one do you use to irs it is whatever gives you the maximum benefit so once you know which method to use, then there is a table where you can get the depreciation schedule, the amount of depreciation you're going to charge for each year. And that is in table um, Appendix A. So for example, table um, A1, um, so here is this A1 table. So five-year automobile has this schedule of depreciation. So I have copied this number in Excel. Let's say we have spent $30,000 a vehicle. And then we're going to basically calculate the depreciation for it. So, so you can simply multiply. So this is going, 20% is going to depreciate fast year. And then of that $30,000 vehicle, I don't I wanted to freeze that but it, oh, here we go so then you can see this is basically sum of I just did it earlier so so you can see it should be sum to 30,000 IRS assumed that there is no end life value even though there is some value but that's how the depreciation is charged. So to summarize um, how to work on this depreciation, so first you have to know how much you spend. Second, the when it was placed in service. Third is the property class and its recovery period. And then you have to decide which method to use. After you know that, then you use the table to determine the correct depreciation charges and then use Excel to find the depreciation.